Hey everyone, so this is the Lenovo Duet. We are going to do some Roblox on here. Uh, we're going to go through a few different games. We are going to start out with what is one of the hardest games on Roblox. Uh, that is Royal High here. Uh, I do not have the volume on because, well, Roblox is horrible for copyrights. I do mean horrible for copyrights. Let's see, get that. So we are just going to be in manual, in the lowest graphics. We'll see how good this does. Maybe we can adjust it. Uh, but again, no sound because I don't want to get copyright strike against me. Copyright infringement against me here. Uh, so start out here in Sunset Island and Royal High. Hopefully it will not be nighttime in the game. Uh, that tends to happen quite a bit when I'm trying to do these videos. Uh, my face is gone. That's kind of scary. <laughs> I only have hair. I have no I have no eyes or mouth. Man, look at that pose. All right, let's let's go ahead and get off this boat. What is up with that face, though? There, I have no face. It's a little bit scary. All right, so it's decently smooth. Uh, it's still definitely laggy though, you guys can see there. Uh, waterfall's a little bit wonky, it's not horrible. The puffs are a little bit wonky too, a little bit slower than they should be. Uh, so this is definitely not the best experience for this game. I should mention too, the pricing on this Chromebook, this is actually a Chromebook, you know, it looks just like a tablet. Uh, it is 10.1 inch Chromebook. And it is, here in the U.S., it is supposed to be 300 bucks. Ooh, actually got a little bit better there. Now we're lagging out again. Uh, it's supposed to be $300 here in the U.S. Right now it is on sale for 250 I bought mine as an open box item from Best Buy. Uh, satisfactory, only spent 180 well, basically 190 bucks on it. Uh, so it's not really an expensive Chromebook. It's a rather cheaper Chromebook. All right, here we are at Arsenal. Show you guys one more time. Uh, you can see it is off. Uh, now I should mention too, you can use the keyboard that comes with this Chromebook with the Duet. Uh, Arsenal, you cannot shoot with it. You still have to touch the on-screen uh, on screen controls. Uh, but you can, I don't know what any of these games actually are, do monkey business. Uh, but you can hook this thing up to a Bluetooth mouse. Uh, usually I use a Microsoft Surface mouse and it works excellent with these, well, with tablets and sending with this Chromebook, it should work very well. Yeah, so I definitely recommend getting a mouse. Uh, I'm going to just not do very well with this. I said, I'm not going to do very well. I'm horrible with on-screen controls. Give me a keyboard and mouse, we'll do a lot better. Again, this does come with a keyboard and you can use, I'm red, aren't I? Uh, and you can use a keyboard for this, which is really cool. Taking off from behind. Uh, so this definitely plays a lot better, like on most, well, let's say tablets. Uh, most tablets, this game will play just fine for the most part, especially in low graphics. Let's go ahead and see if we can actually, okay. Uh, so that is definitely a lot more smooth, a lot smoother. Uh, that is definitely playable. I have no issue playing that. Next, as you can see, we're going to do some Greenville here. Uh, this is again a bit more of a graphically intensive game. Uh, I tried this on the A7 Lite not too long ago, actually a few days ago, and it was so so. It was rather janky. Uh, so again, we're in the same graphics as we've been in, just the lowest graphics possible. Uh, so let's see what happens here. Uh, let's see, I actually bought a new car the other day. Uh, the Sumo Auto Wagon is what that thing just said. Uh, um, um, ah, there we go. Uh, so that is actually a Subaru. That's actually a Subaru. Yes. And drive this baby. Uh, so yeah, that's a Subaru Outback Wagon actually. Don't understand why in order to reverse you have to go forward first in this game. 
Alright, so let's see how this goes. Definitely a bit slow to react to my button pressings here. You can see the other cars in the background there just kind of inching backwards. Uh, I don't think they're supposed to be doing that. Let's see. Is that water? It looks like water. So I don't think the turning is quite right. I think I should be able to turn a little bit quicker than that. Same with this uh, speeding up. It just feels like I'm... It doesn't really feel like it's lagging. It just doesn't feel like it's actually... I don't know how to say, say that correctly. It just doesn't seem like the inputs are going in cor correctly, as you can see here. So it's definitely janky, just like the... Uh, A7 light was the other day. Again, this is more of a graphical game. It's more of an open world type game, if you will. We can see here, I should be able to turn a lot faster than that. It shouldn't just be like kind of drifting sideways. And again, I'm going almost, and I'm going over 100 miles per hour. I should be moving better than this, quicker than this. I didn't know this car can go this fast. Uh, of course, things are just kind of spawning in, too. You can't really see too, too far. Speed limit of 55, we're going 122. Nice. Uh, it just doesn't feel like I'm going that fast. And again, you try to turn, it just doesn't turn. Alright, you guys can decide for that one. I would say I would not want to play this game on here. Next, we are now in Bed Wars. Uh, just so you all believe me, what setting we are in, we are in manual on the lowest graphic settings. Uh, so I figured I'd show off this part because there's always a crazy amount of people just in here. Let's see. We will go up to not double line. Let's do a doubles. I like this game, but I do not like this game because it just I just feel like anytime I try to play this game. I get matches versus people that have like crazy weapons within the first minute of the match and I just get smurdered crazy quick. I'm gonna cut to when we actually get into the match. Alright, so you can see we're starting in six seconds here. I do like this. This is again this is a really cool game. I just wish it was a bit more fair with who you're who you're with. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this leaderboard. Go over here, let's get some sword, we have some armor, bow, there we go. So we can take out this bow, where the heck did my buddy go? Okay, he, he just, he just going ham. I did not realize he did not have a uh, block there. So, you know, that, that was awesome. Uh, but you can see this is running fantastic. Let's, let's do one more game here. All right, this time we'll try not to die in the first two seconds of, you know, being in the match. I like your little outfit there, buddy. Demon XXXXXX. Oh, that looked like a hard landing. We'll go ahead and take that, we'll go ahead and take that, we'll go ahead and take the bow. And we'll take one of the uh, pickaxes. Again. And we'll try to not just, you know, ah, poop. Does that hurt? Yeah, it does. Not very, again, not very fine of on-screen controls here. There's nothing in there. Aha, I got someone. Look at that. Uh, but again, this is running pretty smooth. Looks like there's a tiny, tiny bit of a hiccups in here. 
Again, how do you get that sword? We've been in the match for like a minute. How do you get that sword? That's my one gripe with this game. Just unfair. But you guys can see this works just fine. I'd be just fine playing this game. Again, if you have a keyboard or you use the keyboard, you should be able to move around and stuff. I uh, just might not be able to actually attack anybody without a mouse. All right, then this will be our last game here. This is Climb 1000 Stairs. Uh, this is a pretty cool game. I love Roblox. I'm gonna get rid of that. Uh, this, I don't need to, you know, attack anybody. I'm gonna go ahead and float on up these stairs and smash into them a bit. Uh, so this is loading very, very well. Again, lowest graphics. Did not change anything on it. I love how his hands just like this. It's like, yeah. Alright, let's see. So this is a fun game where you can go ragdoll. So if you are, uh, you're not good with a lot of motion going on the screen, turn this off now as there's going to be a lot of motion going on the screen in a second here. We are just going to on, float on up and we're just going to go ragdoll. One, two, three. Oh, that's right. I have these still on. Okay, get out of the way. Blah, blah, blah. Doesn't that just look freaking painful? <laughs> I think my guy's a bit, uh, <laughs> a bit gone. And you can just, like, as you're ragdolling, just freaking. It's <laughs> just a funny game to play. You know, you can, like, spring it on up with your jumps. So this is running excellent. Uh, so I think most games will play just fine in here. Just the more open world games that are a bit more graphically intense might not do so well. Uh, again, this is a Chromebook and this is not even a uh, tablet. So I think gaming isn't really the big intention on this uh, Chromebook. Then again, this is normally 300 bucks only. Uh, last one's on sale like it is right now. I think for what this Chromebook is and for how much it is, uh, like other people have had reviews on stuff, it's a pretty dang good Chromebook. Uh, I mean, it does just fine in this. It just, as long as you're not trying to play certain games, uh, more graphically intensive games, you might not be able to do. Uh, but I mean, you can see Arsenal works just fine. Uh, you know, we just did Bed Wars, that was just fine. Again, hook up a mouse to it and maybe your keyboard, and you'll have more fun than using the on screen controls as well. 10.1 uh, inch, it is an awesome aspect ratio to this 10.1 inch tablet. It looks very awesome. Uh, love it. You guys, let me know what you think. As always, I really do appreciate you. Hope you guys have a good one. See y'all next time. Goodbye.